Secrets to picking. First of all, don't pick. But if you absolutely, absolutely have to, I'd rather teach you the best way to do it so that you don't scar yourself and damage your skin. First, wait as long as you possibly can to pick and then wait one more day. I make that as a joke because the longer you medicate with acne medications and acids, the more the core of the zit, which is the actual zit down here, the longer you wait, the more it solidifies when you medicate. And it kind of makes its way closer to the surface of the skin and then you'll get it out in full. If you go for it too soon and you push on it, it has one of two ways to go. It can explode up and out, which is great, that's what you want, or it could implode down and under, and that's when you get more of a cyst and more of an inflammatory breakout. As humans, we all have superficial hair growing everywhere. On our face, I'll give you an example, our hairs and our eyebrows are growing up this way, this way, and growing down this way. When you pick, and I don't want you to pick, but if you're going to, pick in the direction of the hair growth. Pores are not straight up and down. So when you go like this, you're creating a new opening and scarring. As professional estheticians, we always keep that in mind. We'll always look very closely at the direction of the hair growth and we will extract in that direction without scarring.